Hello, my name is Axel Bevinghold. I would like to present on how AI can improve breast cancer screening and diagnosis in 2D mammography and 3D tomosynthesis. First, I would like to introduce myself. Uh, as I said, I'm Dr. Axel Levinghold. I'm a radiologist specialized in breast imaging. I work in a private center in Germany, which also runs a unit for the German National Screening Program. I'm a reader in several European screening programs. And at present, I'm clinical co-chair of the Guidelines Development Group of ECIBC, the European Commission Initiative on Breast Cancer. Below, you see my disclosure. I would like to present on two studies we have published in the Journal of Medical Screening in January 21, together with Paolo Giorgi Rossi from Emilia Romana. The first one is a retrospective analysis of the effect on interval cancer rate of adding an artificial intelligence algorithm to the reading process for two-dimensional full-field digital mammography. What was the idea for this study? Interval cancers are defined as cancers that are detected after negative screening result and before the next screening round. Reasons for interval cancers are, they grow in the interval, they are mammographically invisible, lesions in the screening programs are misinterpreted or they are truly missed. In all screening programs, the last two categories represent almost 50% of the interval cancers. This is actually why interval cancers are a quality measure for screening programs. The lower the interval cancer rate, the better the performance. So how can we reduce them within the existing screening programs? At present, all European breast cancer screening programs are based on 2D FFDM. There are some DBT trials like the Retoma trial, the Toby trial, and the Tosima trial, who assessed the value of DBT. Now, population for our study were women with known interval cancers from our unit who had normal screening exams in 2011 and 2012, and where diagnostic images at tumor detection were available together with full clinical records. What we did was for quality assurance, these cancers are reported to us by the Regional Cancer Registry and then categorized in four categories by the radiologist. The true interval cancers, the occult interval cancers, the minimal sign interval cancers and missed interval cancers based on the findings or non-findings in the priors. After that, we processed the priors through the algorithm which was profound AI by ICAT, and reread them considering a mark with a lesion score higher than 30 as a positive finding. A lesion score is a score the algorithm assigns to a lesion, which gives the probability that this lesion might be a cancer. Now, the results were that 48% of all internal cancers that were labeled as normals in 2011 and 2012 in the priors were marked at the location of the later detected tumor. This means that 93% of the minimal sign and missed interval cancers had lesions marked at the location where the tumor was later detected. Of course, there are some weaknesses of this study. The numbers of interval cancers are fortunately low, therefore it gives rather a view on the direction than on the true percentage of the decrease of interval cancer rate. The specificity of the AI algorithm can only be estimated based on another study which was performed in the Reference Center of Munich, presented online at ECR 2020 by Professor Heibon Köbrunner, who used the same algorithm. In other words, if profound AI had been available and used in 2011 and 2012, up to 48% of the later detected interval cancers could have been found in the initial screening round, which are mainly the missed and the minimal sign ones. Profound AI 
has the potential to help the radiologist decrease the interval cancer rate and therefore improve the quality of the screening program resulting in better care for women. We do have some research recommendations, which are a prospective randomized control trial using an AI algorithm as a supportive reading tool within a screening program. Outcomes for that should be sensitivity or detection, specificity and false positive rates, and the interval cancer rate. I would now like to show you a few slides of, uh, from women in that this study. Here you see the 2D exam which was dismissed as normal by two readers. Ten months later the woman presented with a diagnostic finding. She had a palpable mass and what you can see on the images she also had a cutaneous thickening. In the end histopathology after diagnostic workup showed that it was a nine millimeter NST G1, no lymph nodes and no distant metastasis. Then we went back to the original screening exam and ran the algorithm retrospectively. And what you can see is that the lesion that later occurred to be a tumor had assigned a 72% lesion score already in that screening exam. We considered this a read or miss due to minimal sign. This interval cancer could have been detected in the screening round. The second uh, case is again a screening exam which was determined as normal by two readers. After nine months, the woman came back with a palpable mass to diagnostic mammography. And what you can see is a 2.5 centimeter invasive lobular cancer, G2, no lymph nodes, no distant metastasis. Again, retrospectively applied the algorithm of found lesions with a lesion score of 58% in the originally dismissed screening exam. Third case is again the screening exam which was dismissed as normal by two readers. Again, after 14 months, the woman came back to diagnostic mammography with a palpable mass. And histopathology revealed a 1.6 centimeter NST G1, no lymph nodes, no distant metastasis. Running the algorithm retrospectively on the original screening exam, you can see there is a detection where later the tumor occurred of 97% lesion score. We considered this a missed cancer. Again, this cancer could have been detected in the screening round 14 months earlier than it actually was detected by the diagnostic mammography. The second study I would like to present to you is a study I get, did together with Stephen Duffy, and it's a retrospective comparison between a single reading plus an artificial intelligence algorithm and two view digital metallosynthesis with double reading in breast screening. Now, what was the idea for this study? We do have some existing recommendations from the European guidelines. There is a neutral recommendation for standing screening examination, which could be done with either 2D, FFDM or DBT. At present, as I said before, it is mostly 2D, FFDM. And also double reading is recommended over single reading. Now, the problem is, do we have enough human resources to read thermosynthesis if the program switches to thermosynthesis instead of 2D FFDM? And is it possible to have at least the high quality of the existing 2D FFDM screening programs, maybe by having single reading thermosynthesis supported by AI, so we would need so many human resources? 
The population of our study were women of our unit with a biopsy proven cancer from the national screening program detected in FFDM screening and who had additional DBT in assessment. And we did the re-reading of the tomosynthesis images by an experienced reader supported by Profound AI, which is a deep learning algorithm developed by ICAT USA. The results were reading results of single reader TOMO with AI outperformed single readers of 2D FFDM in sensitivity. And reading results of the single reader of TOMO with AI had the same results compared to double reading of the 2D FFDM. So the overall result was that single reading of tomosynthesis with support of a suitable algorithm is not inferior to the double reading policy of today's screening programs with 2D FFDM regarding sensitivity. Of course, again, there's some weaknesses of the study. We couldn't say anything about DCIS because calcs at that time were assessed with magnification views, so they were not included in the study and specificity of the reading process with AI couldn't be directly assessed. But there are studies that use the same algorithm which demonstrated a very high specificity. I refer here to Emily Conant and others who published this in Radiology in 2019. So in other words, if we would screen from today with DBT, with a single reader supported by an artificial intelligence algorithm, here profound AI, we would certainly not detect less cancers. In fact, as we all know that DBT has the capability to detect more cancers, it is very likely to detect more cancers using the above named policy. And it would probably even improve even more if we did double reading of thermosynthesis with AI especially for specificity reasons. We do have some research recommendations for prospective randomized controlled trials on reading tomosynthesis supported by an AI algorithm within a running screening program. Outcomes again should be detection or sensitivity, false positives and specificity, interval cancers, reading time and cost effectiveness, especially reading time can be reduced by 50%. This was also published in the same report I mentioned before by Emily Conant in Radiology 2019. Now I would like to show you a little bit how it works. Here you see the 2D synthesized images of a DBT study. And when you click on a mark, it jumps right into the plane where the lesion is seen best. I enlarge that a little bit. And what you can see is an opacity here in the right outer upper quadrant. This was um, invasive ductal cancer with an associated DCIS, T1C, no lymph nodes, no distant metastasis, and G2. So it is very easy and very quick to diagnose with this tool. The second one is a case where only one reader detected the cancer and he detected it only in one view. If you look at the mark, you click on the mark, you see a lesion here in the lateral part of the uh, breast. And the same study with the oblique view shows you the lesion again. This was not detected on the oblique view by the reader himself. Finally, it revealed to be a small cancer. Now this is a screening exam again, which was um, done in the, in the uh, study. And there was um, a small lesion detected by one reader only. The algorithm points out a lesion in the outer 
uh, in the upper quadrant of the breast, actually almost at 12 o'clock. And the lesion was assigned a lesion score of 69. This revealed to be a 0 0.8 centimeter NST, G1, no lymph nodes and no distant metastasis. I show you the same case in the CC view. Here again, when you click on the mark, you can see the marked lesion and the plane where it's best visible. And here it is also assigned a high lesion score, in this case, already 85. So what are the conclusions? Reading to the FFDM supported by profound AI will reduce the number of interval cancers by guiding the radiologist to regions of interest that he or she might miss in the process of reading. Reading tumor as a single reader supported by profound AI will not give inferior results sensitivity wise to standard double reading of 2D images in fact it is most likely to detect more cancers. Double reading tomosynthesis with support of profound AI might even be more efficient, especially in increasing specificity. Further studies, preferably randomized controlled trials and screening programs are needed to address outcomes such as sensitivity, specificity, recall rates and interval cancer rates. Thank you very much for listening. Please email any additional questions uh, to my personal email. And for more information on Profound AI, please visit www.icatomate.com. Thank you very much.